Why wasn't Bran in the teaser? And do the ages of the statues of Jon, Sansa, and Arya tell us something about when they each meet their demise? So I made a video about the teaser, and then of course, after I released it, a million thoughts came pouring into my head. So this video, I wanna talk about some theories off of the teaser, and which ones could be true and how. First, we noticed that Bran wasn't in the Crips teaser. Why not? Does this hint at something? I have a few thoughts on this. One, we could go with that it just didn't work thematically. This teaser appears to be mimicking the long walk with the three leaders we got with last season's teaser. Four people may have made it cluttered, so they kept it at three again. Of course, we could have had one of them pushing Bran in a wheelchair, but if we remember, the crypts are very much so not friendly for wheelchairs. For one, the stairs to the crip are narrow and force people to walk down single file. Now, originally we saw Bran carried down, but he's quite a bit bigger now and he's missing the guy that used to carry him around. As for the people still alive, I doubt carrying him down would be fun for any of them. I also doubt getting his wheelchair down there just to visit the crip some would be something they'd waste their time on. Seems like more pressing matters are at hand. Now, if we wanna go deeper into this, we could say that Bran is no longer a Stark. And don't you dare, don't you dare make a comment about how Jon isn't a Stark. Boo hiss. Mira said it. Bran. I'm not really. Not anymore. I remember what it felt like to be Brandon Stark. But I remember so much else now. You died in that cave. Bran died in that cave. What is left isn't a Stark and something else. And if you believe that super dark twisted theory that Bran actually is no more and the old three-eyed crow took control of his body, that's even more fucked up. Though an interesting theory when you consider that the three-eyed crow is more of a force that takes control of different bodies and then after he uses one up, he goes on to a new one. Let's not talk about it, it's too sad. Honestly, a lot of the three-eyed crows, or I guess three-eyed raven in the show, crow is book, sorry, I sometimes mix the two. A lot of those theories in general are pretty sad. I kind of better like the idea of Bran still being Bran, the three-eyed raven hasn't taken control of his body, but becoming the three-eyed raven means that he can never truly be Bran again. I don't know, it's a weird thing to talk about. I guess, different video. But since Bran isn't Bran anymore, why would he join them for a teaser symbolizing the Starks coming together to fight as a family against the coming of the others? Though Bran is for sure an ally and on the same side as his siblings. So I think I still go back to symbolizing of three people and it made the trailer flow better. I did see a really, really cool theory that stated this is actually a scene in the final season and not just a promo, which is very different than my thought process because I took this as a scene that was filmed just for the promo and not for an actual scene in the final season. So this theory believes that the scene does occur in the season, but it isn't reality. It is a vision given by Bran to help Jon, Sansa, and Arya understand what they need to do and his powers. Now I think Jon doesn't really need convincing of the threat, but maybe Arya and Sansa do. So to demonstrate his power and to get them to truly understand, he shows them a vision of their deaths from the others if they don't do exactly as he says. I'm sure that would be enough to put all three of them on board with the all-seeing dude's plan. Especially if Bran has a plan that he needs them to follow exactly. Perhaps because of Danny arriving at Winterfell, the Starks are divided, and Bran, having no time for their shit, shows them the vision to get them to work together. This fits in more because Catelyn shouldn't have a statue hanging out there. So if it isn't just a promo and this scene is actually in the final season, it being a vision and her statue being there would make more sense. Though speaking of division among the Starks, notice Sansa's hair is starting to match Danny's. Sansa has a habit of mimicking women's hair that she looks up to in some way. Does Sansa have this hairdo because she does go along with Danny? Or is this some sort of trickery? Like trying to get on Danny's good side for something else? I don't know, but I like the hair. I think it looks good on her. But let's talk about the statues because they were a bit off. While I don't think any of the statues were great, Sansa and Arya's statue look much, much better than Jon's. Their statues also appear to represent them at their current age. 
John's, on the other hand, his is pretty bad. His looks much different, no widow peak, wrong nose, and much older at first glance. This has led to the theory that perhaps this is a hint of when they each die. Sansa and Arya dying this season, dying young, and Jon lives to die as an older man. If that is true, how sad for Jon to reunite with his family to only lose them again. For him to live to an older man with so much loss. I definitely don't agree with that thought process, though. I still think at least one Stark girl makes it to the end of the final season based off of leaks and other hints we've been given. Now, that's just my opinion, so it doesn't mean that it's 100% true, so I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt. Leave one of them alive? I think if you really look at Jon's statue, it does look like him as he appears now. The problem is the crypt statues always seem to do a shit job depicting men. It doesn't look like him. Yet a bang up job with the ladies, apparently. So I don't think the statues are a hint, but more so just the normal shittiness of male statues. Though in Ned's case it was because they didn't have Ned's likeness to do it from, so... Yeah. But maybe sculptors in the North like to make men look manlier and more distinguished, because again, it isn't just age, but other details they got wrong about John. Which actually makes me fear there is a canon reason for this. Maybe the girls do live to a long age, and the sculptors of Winterfell had time to make the likeness of their statues. Which is why they look so much better. And ignore who gets the statue thing, because I think Sansa would say F that at this point. Now maybe John's statue is horrible because the sculptors didn't have his likeness to go by. Maybe John dies during the season, and because he was a bastard of Winterfell, fell for so long, not many remember his face well enough to make a good statue. But I kind of think that's too off. That being said, now there's a very out there theory right now about this teaser that I just hate on so many levels, and it involves timey-wimey bullshit. Like I said, some think this is an actual scene in the final season instead of what it probably is, a promo. And they believe that Bran has communicated with the past to get these three statues built hundreds and hundreds of years ago to prove to his siblings the true extent of his power. So he went back in time to command these statues be built and somehow they were just now discovered. That is some grade A tinfoil. Now, I'm not saying 100% it's not going to happen. I, I'm sure it could happen in some fashion or parts of it could. I'm just saying it's pretty high up on the ladder of not happening. There are just so many holes you can poke in that. Plus, I wonder how much Bran is going to mess with the pass after that other little incident. But if he doesn't care about others at this point, but only stopping the others, maybe he does it. I don't know. I, I mean, I was even sent another theory by a sub that claims that the mist was symbolizing Bran and how he's actually the Night King, but we're not going to talk about that theory. But speaking of that crazy tinfoil, let's move on to crazier tinfoil. This teaser is hinting that the others will res the dead Starks in their tombs and use them to attack Winterfell. We don't know if the magic of Winterfell makes them immune to the others' powers, but if they aren't, Oh boy, could we be in for some fun. Imagine the skeletons and dust rising up for some shenanigans. Well, they said Sean Bean came back just to film a season 8 DVD special. What if they took him to get his likeness for a CGI reanimation? Too bad Ned has been dead for so long there wouldn't be anything but bones. But a stark bone party from a res might be pretty great and pretty terrifying. Okay, finally, I will be the first to admit that I think we're all looking way too deep into this teaser. Honestly, if I had to place bets, I'd say this was just a promo with no hints to the characters' fates this season. Kind of like the wall of faces that didn't really predict all the characters' deaths, but was just a neat promo. Remember all those crazy theories about that wall of faces and what it meant? Do you? Because I do. And they were all wrong. Well, except for the ones that said, guys, it's a promo, stop reading into this and put your shiny tinfoil hats away. They were actually right. So yeah, I think this teaser is just saying that the others are coming, they need to work together to face it, and their death is coming if they don't. Well, here's a last minute update to this video, actually. This was kind of weird. James Hibbard, the guy from Entertainment Weekly that has a relationship with HBO for years now and gets to do all the in-depth articles about the show, stated this was just a promo and there was no actual footage from the final season in the teaser. While he isn't someone that works on the show, he does have a lot of information, so I think I will take him for his word on this one, and I guess this is 
case closed. Otherwise, I want some of your craziest theories why Kat got a statue just chilling randomly in the crypts. But in general, what are your thoughts? Do you think this teaser tells us which Stark kids die this season? Why isn't Bran in the teaser? And how shit do you think that John statue is? All right, so like, subscribe, and celebrate. We are months away from intense happiness and bitter sadness.